What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and I'm not trying to be a negative Nelly, but there is a possibility that all Ether maps in Black Ops 4 will inevitably be remakes or remasters. Now, we started that trend off with Blood of the Dead, we then got classified, and those maps are obviously both remakes that feature some new areas here and there, obviously a new crew, a whole new story, new Easter eggs. We know that, but with the confirmation that Nuketown Zombies is also returning, thanks to the leak from that QA tester, it's almost looking like every map for the Ether story at least will be a remake. And even if Nuketown Zombies 2.0 ends up being as big as Nuketown Island is in Blackout, it's still a remake in some way. Even if we're playing as Victus or playing as Ultimus, it doesn't matter. It's still a remake. And I'm worried about that. I have to be honest with you guys. I'm worried that for budget purposes or for some type of reason, they only have the resources to create new maps for the Chaos storyline while they kind of have to clutch their way to make more Ether maps by making those maps remakes. And that's another thing. Did Treyarch put too much on their plate? Were they too cocky into thinking that they can handle two storylines at one time over the course of Black Ops 4's DLC season? Now, if that's the case, then adding all remakes for the Ether storyline doesn't serve the story much justice if this is going to be the end of the Ether storyline. If this is truly bridging the gap to a chaos only zombies experience going forward, then I don't think having all remakes in game, in Black Ops 4 at least, is the solution. Now we of course had rumors about a London map, we had rumors about other type of Ether maps with Atlantis and a bunch of weird shit going on, but it's looking less and less likely as we move forward and it's almost seeming like this is not even up to Treyarch anymore. It's kind of up to Activision because Activision knows that they scrapped the campaign very late. They started working on Zombies and Blackout in mid-2017 so not much time actually went into Black Ops 4 than we think actually was put in. Now, yes, it's on a three-year dev cycle, but look how much time was wasted. If you think about it, if they would have started working on Blackout, Multiplayer, and Zombies three years ago, actually three years ago, then the state of the game right now would be flawless. But Activision didn't know that Fortnite was going to blow up the way that it did, so obviously Blackout was kind of a last-minute resort, a last-minute plan. They just kind of clutched their way to it and did a very good job doing so. I'm really impressed with how they did that, but Zombies kind of suffered because of all those problems with scrapping the campaign, starting Battle Royale, doing this, completely revamping the multiplayer they had built for the game. Zombies suffered because of all of that, and I do think very early on, Treyarch originally intended to release one Ether map and one Chaos map. But for some reason, for some random reason, they thought it was okay to say, you know what, let's add one more Chaos map in there. And obviously, we got to do a season pass bonus. So we'll throw in another Ether map as well, making it four maps on launch if people buy the Black Ops Pass. And that works when they're on the three year dev cycle. But when they were on such a fucking hectic, hectic amount of time to develop and finish the game, I think they were way over their heads trying to accomplish all of that. And we see the state of the game right now and how there's a lot of lack of testing with some of the maps and game modes that a lot went wrong behind the scenes. So because of that, does that mean that they only have the opportunity to give us remakes for the Ether story? And that's better than nothing, but if you think about it, we haven't had an original map since Gorod Krovi, which is years ago now. Obviously, Revelations had a couple of new areas and shit, but for the most part, it was a huge remaster slash remake of a lot of the fan favorite maps. And then we, of course, had all those maps come back again with DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles. And then we have the Ether storyline launching with two remakes here in Black Ops 4. So it doesn't sound too bright when we talk about the future of the Ether storyline based on the leaks we have right now, but I do hope, and I still have hope, that we do get a London map, which was obviously teased back in the Ryzen's Rock, and I'm not sure why they teased that if it's not going to be an upcoming map. We also know that it was teased in the Blood of the Dead uh, I think it's uh, in a cipher or somewhere around the map. You can see something about a parliament, something about London. So we're getting hints towards London again, 
but I'm not sure how that's going to pay off exactly. And in terms of the Black Ops Pass, this is something I wanted to bring up because this is a follow-up to a video I just made the other day talking about Activision not being that stupid to charge you for the same map twice because obviously we know about these seasonal twists on multiplayer maps like Firing Range and Seaside and people actually thought that those maps were going to be a part of the 12 promised Black Ops Pass maps. And if that ends up being the case, then... <laughs> it's the end of Call of Duty as we know it. That is pushing it extremely too far, but I highly doubt that's ever going to happen. So to think that Nuketown Zombies would be a part of the Black Ops Pass is one, ludicrous, but two, something that I almost wouldn't be surprised about in a way. Maybe not with multiplayer. Multiplayer, it wouldn't really make sense, but with the zombies, it would almost seem like they're going to be selling you a remake that has so many new areas like the the bunker as we see in blackout that it would almost justify it being a part of the black ops pass now originally i was thinking the black ops pass was going to be something like this it would either have four chaos maps or four ether maps and then you'd be able to pay for a second pass later down the line or it would just be extended or something interesting in that sense or it would have two zombie maps dropped at one time one for each story and with the way it's sounding based on the QA testers information, it's going to have a mixture of both Chaos and Ether maps, but with Nuketown in there, it really would work out if they launched it for free, but obviously I don't think they would ever launch a zombie map for free. Now, if they launched it for a couple of dollars now, then we're talking, then that kind of makes sense because then you have a streamline of content separate from the four promised zombies experiences in the Black Ops Pass, and that would obviously please fans a lot more. Now, I'm okay with them doing something along the lines of releasing one Ether map, then one Chaos map, one Ether map, then one Chaos map, then doing a second year of life with another season pass or launching uh, maybe a four map DLC with two more ether maps and two more chaos maps, something like that. I'm okay with them extending the game's life cycle in that sense and not completing either of the stories with just the Black Ops Pass, but we'll just have to wait and see how they handle the DLC season. But to answer everybody's question, I don't think, I honestly don't think they would include Nuketown Zombies as part of the Black Ops Pass zombie maps unless it's some massive remake that almost feels nothing like the original Nuketown Zombies unless it's the London map and somehow you teleport to Nuketown within that map to pack a punch or something then I don't see them selling a remake with the Black Ops Pass it just it, it would be not just cringe it, it would be so redundant it, it just wouldn't feel like we're paying for a brand new game here it would feel like we're paying for a game that's literally full of recycled content now i'm not throwing shade at blackout i love blackout but if you think about it blackout is just recycled content rehashed content that we've already played multiplayer has some classic maps in there as well that we've already played and then we have zombies featuring two remakes already we obviously have nine and voids which are completely new maps and a completely new story but we also have two remakes and remakes in there as well excuse me so each mode is played with remakes as it is so would activision have the balls to sell us more remakes <laughs> in a season pass that a lot of us paid for not knowing what was going to be included in it so legally they could do that since they never stated what was going to be included in the black ops pass aside from four zombies experiences four exclusive black ops skins or excuse me blackout skins and then 12 additional multiplayer maps so <laughs> we'll just have to figure out what's happening with the dlc cycle later on in the next couple of weeks here but that's about it this has been dk dynamite let me know what you think about nuketown zombies down below in the comment section it's pretty apparent that we're gonna have the bunker that we've seen in blackout it's pretty apparent that broken arrow is gonna have a big role in the map we're gonna see the nuketown drills that were teased in the comics 
possibly going to be playing as Ultimus or Victus. Not sure if we're going to be collecting a stone for one of the original staves just yet. Not sure if it's going to be one of those fetch quests like we had within Black Ops 3 where we're collecting a soul on every map. Not sure how that's going to go, but I do think it's a very interesting situation when we think about how they're going to be launching DLC this year. It's a much different Call of Duty than we've ever seen before. So obviously DLC is going to be a much different system this year for Treyarch. But thank you so much for watching. Check out all the links down below in the description and peace out everybody.